Greetings Captain, Gunship here, hope you're doing well. I'm on the dev server and I thought I would just run through some of the new interesting ships we're going to see in the next update. So, what caught my eye was this Russian destroyer. It's battle rating 5.3 from 1967. It's almost, uh, well, slightly older than my good self. Bravey it's called. And... You know, it has main guns, but only two at the front. Then it got quite good AA on each side. And if I do a quick uh, X-ray of it, if we are allowed to have such a thing. Main gun, AA guns, and there is various placed here, and they look quite powerful. And of course, what is really interesting is this these missile launchers. So two missiles at a time, and it takes about 50 seconds or thereabouts to reload each one of them. You can fire one at a time. I'm not quite sure how well it's moduled right now in the dev server, but I think we should give it a go. In terms of armor, there's nothing particularly, it's not particularly well armored as such. It's just, you know, a standard ship from that point of view. But uh, yeah, it's it's the uh, armaments here that is definitely very interesting indeed, and I think that is going to be quite a formidable ship when it gets in game. But let's just try very quickly to run into a test battle. So note you get nine of these uh, missiles. Now they do say surface to air missiles, but you can also use them against ships and we will certainly try that. I'm not particularly good at shooting down airplanes with them at the moment so I think maybe it's still something that that needs to be sorted out but we'll try realistic battles and we'll jump in. Now here we are and here's the ship. Now I turned off the automatic gunnery just so we can try different things. So you got the main gun on old one and just to see how powerful that is, it clearly does the trick. And it fires quite rapidly as well. If we go and shoot against the destroyer here, so we just select it, wait for our targeting to come up. barrel gun here at the front so that's what it is if you go to the AA and look at that that's on all three I'm sure they will take boats down we do have uh, torpedoes as well so that's all well and good uh, if I just all down so we can see uh, travel distance 12 kilometers, I mean, this is a stock ship, so maybe that will go further. But look at the speed in the water, 126 kilometers now. These torpedoes are fast. This is realistic battle mode. So, yeah, that will uh, that will definitely be something to potentially use for this ship uh, as they're that quick. Main thing is all two, which is where we get the missile. And if I try and, and so it will go wherever you put your uh, reversed uh, V here where you aim at things. So let's just aim somewhere in the, the midship, maybe under the turret. We will fire a missile and you can see it's flying here. And actually, if I move to side, you can see it moves with it. So you have some control while it's in the flight. And uh, yeah, that was it. I think that was a relatively lucky shot, but we'll try against the other ship here as well. Sometimes you're not that lucky depends uh, how well uh, you hit and if you hit something vital but you can see you know 86% on what is a, a reasonable ship not bad at all let's get some speed on this boat here now obviously the fact that you can steer your missile in is that you have a, a good chance of hitting you know you don't really have to 
aim your shot you just have to keep your cursor steady and then you are kind of good to go see what the top speed are as, as stock here but yeah it certainly moves at, at normal cruiser speed and you see down here is just about finished reloading and now we got a new set so if I do this when I fire Oh, well, it'd be interesting to me if I have this thing here. Might be a bit close. Looks right. Well, that wasn't too close at all. Right, oh, I'll try and find the other one. We'll just do here from behind the ship so you can see the rocket is launching. And let's just try and aim for the for the rear. Pretty solid hit. I think I think you'll have a lot of fun with this one. And with a 5.3 is the right battle rating for it, I guess time will tell. Right, let's move back because there's plenty more to go. So the next one of interest for me is in Japan. So in Japan, if we go to uh, blue water ships, let's go to the Navy here. We have this, and if we do a preview of that, that is the new ISA battleship. It's 7.0. Uh, if you look at armor on this, 300 thickness armor belt, so you know, typical World War II battleship here. As you can see, you get your your six main turrets, so a full broadside of, of 12 guns. Planes at the back, all very nicely modeled as well. And you also get, you know, 16 secondaries, eight on each side. So that's not too too shabby either. I mean, it's a bit like a Fuso, but it looks a little bit different. Fuel tanks along the sides, all the steering and stuff like that. I do like all the new colors that they have here. This is all very good. And I think it has uh, quite a decent uh, amount of, of AA as well. Lots of 25 millimeters and also some 5 inch as well. So I think that should, should do very nicely and be a nice addition to top tier Japanese. But let's do a quick test sale. Uh, looks like we got sap ammunition. Oh, look at all those planes at the back. Oh, you get three of them. Ah, didn't know that. Okay. Well. It's a AA and bring just more AA as uh, the plane comes closer. I well, certainly would have taken it up by now. Hmm. So sure how super effective it's gonna be, but, but we'll see. Right. Main guns here. Got this there's some secondary so it's loaded on it right now. Okay. Let's have a look at some main gun action. Let's start with this little destroyer here. Oh, that is quite the good cool side. Yeah, I think. Secondaries alone is uh, that's a destroyer in its own right, isn't it? Okay, got the main guns all loaded, so let's have a look at a bigger target. Uh, it looks a bit like a Helena or Brooklyn.
Yeah, I think that that's uh, one deadly fellow we have here. So, very nice, very nice indeed. Get a couple of bombs. Okay, so there's no guns on the plane. You just get the bombs, but I mean, most of the time, all you do is try to land somewhere, and uh, occasionally, maybe, you can drop a few bombs on uh, unexpected or something. Yeah, not bad at all. I look forward to getting this bad boy. Yeah, uh, be a little bit different. So it's kind of a, a follow-on from the Hugo in the tech tree. There they are. After the Hugo, that's where it is. Uh, don't take uh, any <laughs> notice of the. The cost here and the dev server because it's a half price on on everything but so it cost about a million this is the same as what they normally do next one to to jump on board with is uh yeah really france i wanted to show you so this is a french uh tech tree and uh, a lot of them are red because i don't have any of them yet and i don't have uh 20 million golden eagles to quickly research them all but I should be able to at least test sale some of them. So let's start from uh, from the start. There's this, this new little premium destroyer here. That will probably be a rank, yeah, rank one. There'll probably be the 250 golden eagles, as as you see there. Uh, let's just do a a quick uh, preview of that ship so you can see it with the camera on here. Yeah, that does look. I'll just take that into the side does look like quite a nice ship just turn that off so at 3.7 with four guns and a bit of aa is is quite decent uh, not much in terms of armor x-ray here okay so you have torpedoes main guns and the aa 37 mil there uh, anything else? That might be it. Oh, there's a, some AA guns on each side there too. So, that's probably enough of that. Let's do a quick test sail just to see what he looks like. I mean, most people, if you're just new to the naval, I don't know if this will qualify to get you in to so just buy this. I doubt it. Probably have to buy one of the packs. It will probably be a quote unquote uh, pay to participate in the so called open beta. You know, buy one of the packs that is there already, or whatever. Or you have to get all the stars. You sort of know the drill. But yeah, I think that's okay. I won't spend any more time on that. Let's return to the hangar and see something more interesting. As you start a ship, so very quickly, let's have a look at that. Um, test sail him. Not bad for a starter ship. With uh, four main guns. I mean, it almost looks identical to the to the small premium, apart from, of course, the bonuses that you will you will get to it. I think that will be fine. Let's just go to all two, all three. Bad. Turn to the hangar, because we won't spend much time on that one. 
a 4.0 destroyer. Quite nice with the red deck, I quite like that. Quite streamlined. Quite quick for a 4.0, nah, 60 kilometers an hour. But maybe they will get upgraded with modules. Not much in terms of armor. And that's what it looks like in, in that view. Chantel, a fairly standard affair, but I'll have a quick test save anyway. Six torpedoes. Okay, so let's look at the torpedoes. Nine kilometers, quite quick, 72 kilometers an hour. Just need to check that I'm in realistic, but I think I am. So that's not bad. And guns have Fairly swift for a foe. It's a nice looking ship actually. I like the red deck. So it's almost light red. Okay. Let's go back to the hangar and find the next one. Go back. So I'm moving into the 4.3 range. So let's have a look at that. Yeah. Similar. Nice looking ship. Oh, nice sleek lines that are on this. I think armor wise, but X ray will give us a bit better idea. So 138mm cannons. And you have five guns. So that's. If you think American destroyers in 4.3 land, they also have a, you know, five guns uh, on them. So yeah, similar in that respect. But yeah, a nice. I think that'll make your, for for people that's just starting up with French Navy, want to use that. You know, using two 4.3 uh, destroyers is is always a good good starting point. Let's look at the other one, the Milan. Go off. Looks quite similar with the way that the bridge and steering house and all that is, is set up. But at least that gives you two good ships. Torpedoes on each side here. And, th and when the torpedoes are right there on, on the side of the ship, it normally gives you a much uh, better angles you can shoot them with because you are. You know, you don't have to be in the middle and fire out. So you arc, you can do from the ship is is better. Uh, so yeah, I think that that would be nice. Nice ship. Also, look at the speed, 70 kilometers an hour. Again, I don't know if that is uh, is the max speed with or without uh, you know crew and so on. Just want to make sure that I'm in a naval realistic battle and look at these things. 59 there, so yeah, maybe it was just that. Okay. So now, so now we're getting into a different kind of territory. The 4.7, more competitive. Good looking ship. You're still at the five guns. So you're losing out maybe to some of the Americans a little bit. Again, you've got three torpedo tubes on each side, so you get a bit more of that. Unfortunately, I can't do a test sail in that. Let's have a look at this one here. Quite different, quite different. I like the look of him or her. Two dual turrets at the front and the back there. Now, this one here, apart from it looks like there's an awful lot you can hit at. Yeah, very nice. Does that qualify as a cruiser? 
Yeah. So that's the only downside to it. It gets uh, a cruiser spawn. But it will go nicely with the premium that we, we already know about. And then you get a 5-0. Again, it's a light cruiser. You don't have a destroyer. This is a bit of a shame because often destroyers at 5-0 is, is quite good fun. So in the light cruiser territory, 8 guns there. 24 torpedoes. Now that could be interesting. You've got dual launches on each side of those. And maximum speed in water 72 kilometers an hour. So not bad. Nine kilometers. Decent that probably can be upgraded, but you probably lose a little bit of speed. Armor? Uh, not much, just around on the turrets and stuff. Okay. Let's go back from him. Get to the coast. So that's 5.3. It's a shame they don't have two at five because you kind of want to try and, and and be able to have a bit of a line up here. Well, let's just uh, turn off that bit and turn away. So he gets again four turrets, and they're sort of heavy turrets, 203 millimeters. You can see the gun barrels are longer. At at 5.3. It's probably quite a decent ship. Also looks like you could get some planes on there. I don't know if they're modeled yet. Well, that's that's to come. But yeah, let's look if there is any uh, any armor. Yes, there is a little bit along the side. Not uh, not masses, but there's some some protection and some protection for for where the ammunition is stored as well. Time will tell, but it might be a decent 5.3 uh, destroyer. Oh, it's not destroyer, light cruiser. And now we get into the interesting stuff, which is the battleship. So we have two. We got the Paris first, so we'll preview him. And he's quite a right, good looking battleship compared to many of the others we have, especially in sort of like, it looks to be sort of the interwar area. Uh, what does it actually say about it? 1939, yeah. Let's go back to preview. I like how all the guns are sticking out from all sides. <laughs> Looking at up here. Gotta just be a bit careful when you dock this ship so you don't uh, bend a gun or two. But, uh, yeah. Good looking ship. What does it get in terms of AA? Because that, that could probably be the downfall a little bit. Got some AA turrets, but you know, from 1922, so don't expect miracles. Secondary guns, 138 millimeter. Again, they're from model 1910, so. Not the latest and greatest. An awful lot of ammunition down here, boys. Ah, could be for a good old armor rack down there. And uh, three or five millimeter main turrets. Fire rate, 2.1 rounds a minute. So roughly every 30 seconds. Roughly a broadside of 10. Yeah, for a 6.3, that, that's not too shabby. In terms of armor, 270 millimeter along on the belt that's that's decent and kind of what you you would expect i think okay and then last but not least we got the lorraine so that is the top battleship of the french at 6.7 and again it's a it's a nice looking battleship Again, I think when we get to the AA department, it's probably oh, it's got some 20 mils, 25 turrets of that, and some buffers. Yeah, I'll take that back. I think AA will be uh, be decent on this main turrets as well. Yeah, 
looks pretty good and unfortunately I don't have the ability to test sale this for you so that is much as I can tell you today hope there was a useful little preview of what's coming and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one bye for now